Graphite KOS is Synaptica's software application for creating and curating knowledge organization systems, KOS, based on linked data and semantic web standards. KOS created in Graphite are stored in the backend RDF Graph database, or triple store, Ontotex GraphDB. With Graphite, you can quickly design, build, and manage enterprise knowledge organization systems using an intuitive graphical user interface. Graphite lets you manage and interrelate all types of KOS and applications. Let's take an overview tour of Graphite 5.0. Signing into Graphite allows the user access to the projects to which he or she is given permissions. After logging in, select a project. In the Topics project, we have two separate discrete schemes which are publicly available ontologies, the Gemet Thesaurus and the UNESCO Thesaurus. After selecting the project, the default view is the Hierarchy tab and the left-hand Discovery panel and a right-hand workspace. This is where a taxonomist or ontologist spends most of his or her time developing and managing ontologies. When a project scheme or concept is selected in the discovery panel, information about the selection displays in the workspace. The project tab displays information about the project. The scheme tab displays information about the scheme. The export tab allows the user to export the scheme in a variety of formats. The Import tab allows the user to import concepts in Excel or RDF formats. The Control Vocabulary Validations tab includes vocabulary checks for circular references, top concepts, and hierarchical orphans. The Audit Trail tab shows all changes made to the scheme and can be exported. In the Hierarchy tab, it is possible to navigate through schemes and concepts. Concepts can be added in the hierarchy using the plus icon. Concepts can be moved in the hierarchy using drag and drop. And relationships between concepts can be created using drag and drop between the hierarchy and the workspace panel. Finally, the hierarchy can also be filtered by concept status. In addition, it is possible to visualize all of the schemes at the project and scheme level. Information about a selected scheme can be viewed within the information panel. It is also possible to hide unused relationships and move and pin objects within the visualization. Here, we see detailed information for the concept Oxygen in the Concept tab. In the left hand of the workspace, relationships are displayed, including property paths and linked data. Relationships can be created within the workspace or by drag and drop between the hierarchy and the workspace panel. In the right hand of the workspace, we can select resource types, templates, and collections. We can also view preferred and alternate labels, definitions, and any other properties. Finally, we can view the concept metadata, including options like status. New concepts can be created in the hierarchy or in the relationship panel in the workspace. In the concept workspace drop-down menu, it is possible to add new properties and relationships from the front end, transfer the concept within and between schemes, and delete the concept. Each concept also includes other tabs. These tabs are the same as the scheme level, but display information specific to the selected concept. It is possible to visualize the concept by clicking the Visualize icon. The visualization can be browsed and includes a menu of functions. The visualization tree can be expanded node by node or continually expanded. It is possible to hide nodes. 
It is also possible to view additional information in the visualization and search and filter within the view. Back in the Discovery panel, we have additional features. The quick search box allows us to conduct a fast search without setting any search criteria. The Collections tab shows collections, which are a means of grouping concepts together within and across schemes and across projects. The Saved Queries tab displays queries set up in search and saved in the Saved Query and Report area. The Search tab allows for the construction of advanced searches based on selected criteria. Search results from the Quick Search box and the Search tab show in the Results tab. Results can be saved and queried as reports using Saved Query and Report. In the Saved Queries tab, we can see any previously run searches which have been saved and can be rerun. Once rerun, we can see the results in the Results tab. Results can be viewed in a grouped view or as a flat list. We can see the original search parameters in the Search tab, which can be changed and rerun. Saved query reports which have been downloaded can be viewed in the Report History tab. They can be downloaded again or deleted. Once a query is saved, it can be scheduled to run and sent to recipients in the Scheduled Tasks admin area. Results can be batch edited using batch edit search results, including the ability to transfer and delete. Administrative functions, such as the creation of projects, schemes, and properties and predicates, will be covered in subsequent videos. However, in this video, we will briefly cover the user and group admin area. In User and Group Admin, it is possible to set up individual users, upload a batch of users, and create groups with differing scheme and project permissions to which users can be assigned. In each group, the user members and project and granular scheme permissions can be viewed. It is possible to upload multiple users in a CSV file. Users can be made active or inactive for provisioning and deprovisioning in identity management systems. Finally, single sign-on can be configured with Okta, OneLogin, O365 Active Directory, and other SSO providers. In the Snapshots menu, the active repository as defined in the backend GraphDB can be captured in a snapshot. Any archived repositories in the Snapshots tab can be restored exactly as it was when the snapshot was taken. It is also possible to create versions for archiving and restoration at the scheme level. In the Scheme Admin menu, any scheme can be selected and versioned using the Replicate Scheme button. It is possible to replicate the scheme exactly to create a version or to fork the scheme to create a completely new version to be used as a template or to branch the scheme for significant changes. More details about this functionality is presented in a separate video. We have gone through a very brief, high-level overview of the Graphite 5.0 UI, Synaptica's user-friendly ontology management system. Subsequent videos will go into more depth on all of the functionality shown, including all of the administrative areas displayed in the main menu, and how to set up namespaces, templates, schemes, users and groups, projects, scheduled tasks, and maintenance. Find out more about Synaptica and our products and services at www.synaptica.com or send us an inquiry at info at synaptica.com.